So starting off is going to be John Choi versus Damn Die. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a blind pick. And there is because John Choi is coming up to whisper his pick into Mike Ross's ear. Now, a blind pick it happens if you don't want the opponent to know who you're going to select. You whisper somebody else who you're going to pick. And that's a way to kind of minimize the, the counter pick aspect to this game because that's huge. So John Choi has gone with Old Sagat, Damn Die with Old T Hawk. Uh, this is actually not that bad a match for, yeah. for Old Hawk. He can he can dive over stuff pretty decently. Uh, he has some normals that are pretty useful to him. But that said, Old Sagat, just a great zoning character. And immediately, John Choi with a great start. Yeah, that's what I'm talking but about. There's, th there's that range where he can just do a, uh, a jump into dive basically on reaction. And T Hawk. Ooh, wow. So, ooh. You see what? I, that was supposed to be another tiger shot. Yeah, but, but it came it out as a stand roundhouse. Effectively an option select, right. though. Round two. And to be honest with you, you know, T Hawk is never out of a match. He no. is going to be sitting here losing all of his life until he gets you into the corner and sets up the safe jump jab. Yeah, it's pretty hard on Sagat because it's, just, it's I think, a one frame timing to safe jump him. But I wouldn't be surprised if Dandai has that. Ooh, tried a tiger knee to counter that. Did not get it. Yeah, you see how hesitant he is, damn die, when getting in there. Okay, just, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Didn't need anything else. That's all it took. Wow, opening right with the tiger shot. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Sigak can actually jab Dragon Punch and make himself uh, pretty safe against T-Hawk. But we haven't seen that so far. There's the jab. That, that's smart stuff. Got him again. Ooh, Ooh I love tried that. to jump Ooh. and normals. Anything will trade now. And that's exactly what happens. Damn die with the first game. So John Choi now has the opportunity to switch characters if he wants to. But if it's between Old Sagat or Ryu, I like Old Sagat for him. I think that's really? the better choice. Yeah. Okay. But I guess we'll see what he thinks. <laughs> yeah, it's Old Sagat stuff. Oh, Fierce rather than Jab. Yeah, I should have went with the Jab one. Okay, there it was. Yeah. Damn, I just trying to get in there, but he's got a good size of a lead, but you can't turtle against a character like Old Sagat, so that's why he's got to keep going in. And great low forward. He just kind of, a, you know, read that timing, read that rhythm. Wow. New John Choi is going to hit a button right about that moment. Caught him with the low forward. You're right about not being able to just stay away. In Super Turbo, chip damage is so significant that you can really chip somebody out in a pretty short period of time. And you, you can't let that happen if you're T-Hawk. There's that option, pseudo option slick, but that's actually in favor of Damn Die if it doesn't kill. Oh my god. That's okay. So yeah, because in that situation, you get the uppercut, Sagat gets knocked down, but you fall back to the floor on your feet, so you get to close some distance. And oh, right into it this yeah. time. Oh, again? No, that's fierce. Why? Oh, wow. A little shenanigan there, but. Nice. Get him to land in that. Oh no, that's Not, way yeah. too far away for that to work. Damn that threatening now with normals. He knows anything can trade and get him the win. That's all he needs. Yeah. That's just a run reaction. Yep. Well, we'll see what, what John does now. Is he going to stick with this character? Damn that looks so focused. And you know... It's Ryu, okay. We've talked about this at other events and such, but... T-Hawk, a character who started the game probably at the bottom of the tier list, yeah. has stayed there for years and years and years. And then I, I, I was told Sako was the one who started coming up with the new T-Hawk technology. It's, Other, been, it's been about half a dozen years since that stuff came out, but it's only the last couple years that it's really been adopted by the U.S. and basically by Damdai and since then just a couple other people. Yeah, and now, and basically it's resulted in T-Hawk probably becoming... Oh, oh, wow! Why would he stand there? That's such a dangerous range to stand. If you're T-Hawk waking up, you have no... There's no consequence to waking up with negative edge pile driver. Oh, right. And so for Ryu to stand there is crazy, but it worked out. Yeah, but... T-Hawk has since moved to like top four in the tier list. Yeah, some people think he's number one. Really? There are some people uh -huh. who actually think he's the best character now. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Wow. Short forward and then a roundhouse and then a jump back dive. Oh, damn dies on the verge of a 3-0 here. Win. And you can hear crowd is getting oh, really? silenced here. As I said, we are in John Choi's hometown area. So you know that there's going to be a lot of people rooting for him. And right now he this is getting already could be blown dead. up. And he's just waiting for that every single time. It, he's going to jab him out of it. Oh, wow. 
All right, well, this lets John Choi start things back up. Oh, no, that was jump uh, strong. If it had been Roundhouse, maybe a different story. That's oh, it. That's Tam it. died with a 3-0, just like that, over John Choi. One of the greatest players in American Super Turbo history has been sent to loser's bracket where he'll play Afro Legends.